I'm going to try on my favorite sewing makes of 2024 and share with you each pattern that I use to make each garment that I share. I have the pattern spread out in front of me and then I have the garments right here on the side of me. So I'm gonna jump right in. The first pattern is Know Me 2081. This is a maternity pattern and I love it so much. I made it in this faux linen green fabric. I did add pockets to the back. There is a pleat in the back, which I absolutely love. I think it makes the garment look so cute in the back. There are pockets on the side. And I did add covered buttons. You have a collar. And it's very comfortable. The legs are nice and roomy. And I love this pattern. Next up is New Look 6546. This pattern is easy. I made view A, which is the tank top. It didn't call for very many pattern pieces. And I made it in this camo. And I just love it. The top is kind of long, but I like to kind of pull it up and wear it a little shorter. I did not finish the hem I just left the hem raw because I knew it wouldn't unravel or anything but yeah this is a quick and easy make and I'm loving this pattern too next is McCall's 8511 I just made these pants very recently I think like last week I made you see I didn't color block it and here are the pants in this denim, dark denim fabric. The jeans are really wide leg and I can definitely see myself making this pattern again. I'm interested in making the shorts that the model has on and I actually hope that I have enough fabric left over from making this project and some of the other denim projects that I made that I can piece together some fabric and make view A, which is the shorts. Next is Simplicity 9896. This was one of the first patterns that I made in 2024. And it is the jacket. Well, they're both jackets. It's the jacket that has the pocket here at the top, which is view A. And you have two pockets on the sides the lower sides. This pattern has snaps in the front. There is also a zippered pocket in the back. I made this out of different colored denim pieces of fabric. It does have bias tape, which I used yellow bias tape to trim around the garment. And I love it. I love it. It was very involved. This project was very involved, but I felt like it was worth it and I just took my time and I'm really happy with the way everything turned out and I can see myself wearing this with several different types of denim. So I like that about it. What is next? Next is Simplicity 9590 and this is an easy overalls pattern. I picked up the fabric for this from LA Finch Fabrics. It is striped denim. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Striped denim. It has pockets in the back. It has buttons on the side and you know your overall has the clasp in the front. It has a faux fly here in the front and I love them. I first saw these hanging up at Hobby Lobby and that's what inspired me to buy the pattern. I had seen the pattern and I just kind of looked it over but then when I saw it hanging in Hobby Lobby I was like oh that is actually really really cute so I decided to go ahead and make the overalls and I love them. Next is 
Simplicity 99.53. So I made this top out of some fabric that I purchased from the thrift store. So when I purchased the fabric, I had plans on just using the fabric to help me make up another garment just to test it out. But I actually really ended up liking the fabric and the way it hung. So I was like, oh, this will probably be perfect for this top. So I made view, I think it's view A. And I really like the way it came out. And I believe this is a rayon fabric, if I'm not mistaken. Very easy, has the nice ruffled shoulders. And I can see myself making this again, maybe in a cotton the next time. I think that would be nice. It does have elastic around the front and around the back. Simplicity 9955. This is a pattern that when I saw it online, I fell in love right away. I wanted to make the shorts and that's what these are. So this is view A and I made it in this patchwork denim fabric from Joann Fabrics. There are pockets on the sides and you have pleats in the side. I think they're in the front and the back, not the side, the front and the back. And you have a fly zipper with a button. This pattern is rated as average and I'm really happy with the results. I've been wearing it or I wore it this summer quite a bit and I love it. The next pattern is Vogue 2051. These are some barrel styled jeans. I made these in this blue fabric. Here they are right here. I'll link a video to this particular pair of pants when I made them. After I made these, I ended up making another pair. The second pair I made in this darker denim. I did try to get a little creative with the pocket in the back. The front closure is supposed to be closed with a hook and eye and I just decided to close it with a snap. And I made these a little bit shorter than the first pair, the original pair that I made. But I'm really happy with this pattern. I love it so, so much. I can see myself making these again. I have a dark denim and a light denim, so maybe if I make them again, I'll do a different type of fabric, maybe like a corduroy or something. Maybe that would be cute. But yeah, not sure, but that's just something I'm thinking about. But I love all of these patterns. When I'm looking for a new recipe, I always head to Pinterest. So I was on Pinterest this morning and I decided I'm gonna make some salmon bites for dinner. So I've never made salmon bites before, but the recipe I saw was really, really simple. So you just cut up the salmon and put it into like little bite-sized nugget looking pieces. And then you add butter and lemon and some seasoning and you put it in the air fryer. I was like, ooh, that's what I'm talking about. That's my speed. So sometimes I wanna cook something, but you know, I don't wanna put a whole, whole lot of effort into it. Sometimes you wanna make something nice and quick. So I was like, that'll be perfect. really like sprouts. They have a lot of pre-made meals. So if you want to grab something that's already put together and all you need to do is throw it in the oven or the microwave, they have a lot of meals like that. And they have salads too, like various different kinds of salads. I really like these particular chocolate chip cookies. They are really tasty. 
So I get those like pretty much every time I go to Sprouts. Now for the salmon, I got a pound of salmon and I asked the guy behind the counter if he would take the skin off and if he would cut the salmon into chunks like nuggets. So he did that for me and that's just gonna make my job at home that much easier when it's time to put these in the air fryer. Salmon is all seasoned and I'm about to go ahead and stick this in the fryer so it can get cooking. Oh, that looks good. It only took seven minutes. Unbelievable. So I am going to go ahead and make some potatoes and probably broccoli to go with this. <laughs> 